Hi everybody, Adam here. Welcome back to our ongoing video series for the Chesapeake and Ohio 284 Berkshire Steam Locomotive. This amazing kit was designed by Jeffrey Fonda and continuing to really like the look of this particular locomotive. In our last video in the series, we talked about the tender build and how that went together. Uh, really cool build and if you have not watched that video highly recommend going back and checking it out today however we're looking at how the locomotive itself is coming together and you know you can see here we've got the middle of the locomotive uh, all the the guts inside there for powering and driving the the wheels and you'll notice i've got the top part covered there that's just because I'm not allowed to video the drivetrain portion of the locomotive, uh, but you know, still lots of great things to see around the locomotive itself. One thing of note, the motors do work now. I've got them hooked up to my rechargeable power functions battery box. And they seem to be working well, which is a good sign. Uh, not always nice when you can get the, uh, the gearing and motor side of things functional. Uh, I need to figure out now how the, the wires are all going to, uh, to move through the body of the locomotive and where the battery box will, uh, will sit in the final model. But nice to see things working at this point. The, structure so far uh, was a bit of a mixed bag to put together. The uh, the main part of the structure running down the middle was very easy and the sides were not too hard to put together either, but it was very difficult. At least it took me a while to get the sides onto the, the locomotive because there's a few tricky bricks right in the middle here that are going up and down and you know to get them connected in uh, without them falling off and without knocking other pieces inside there was just a little tricky uh, but using some using some tweezers and you know uh, kind of working in bits and pieces i was able to get it hooked up and uh, all functional it looks like highly recommend having a pair of tweezers around uh, I find them to be very useful when you're dealing with builds in tight quarters uh, and the interior of this locomotive is definitely a tight space, especially once you get both sides on. Taking a closer look here, really like how some of the details are coming together. You can see the front of the locomotive right here looking nice, nice shape down the side. Still lots of little details to, to put in. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, we've got all the plastic tubing here for the piping around the locomotive and the tender. Uh, so I need to do a, a big pass through cutting off all the appropriately sized chunks for that. Uh, so all of those parts will be starting to go on. And there's also a few other details that uh, I took off just when I was assembling the sides so that they wouldn't get in the way uh, but those represent you know like these uh, not exactly sure what they are on the locomotive but they look like tanks or uh, you know some thicker bigger piping in that and then the these uh, these bricks right here the tile bricks represent this line going down the the side of the locomotive there so uh, I'll get those details back on, but they were just a little cumbersome when you're uh, when you're going through and trying to uh, get those sides attached onto the model. Now, one problem I did have currently, I'm using this Power Functions rechargeable battery box to test everything out. Uh, in my initial tests, the battery box that came with the locomotive did not work for me. Not sure what's going on there. Uh, I've never worked with a, uh, a battery box of this type before. Uh, if anybody out there has any thoughts or suggestions on what might be going on with it, I would love to hear it. 
I'll work with, uh, you know, I'll be working to try to get this functional or get a working replacement for it. But, you know, in the end, maybe the uh, the rechargeable power functions will be just fine for the, the model. So we'll see how it, how it works out. But for now, I'm using this as my stand-in just to make sure everything's working. And the, the next steps in the build are going to be uh, getting the cab area all finished up, working across the top of the locomotive and down the front here. And then on to the, the base. I think it should be a lot of fun getting the, uh, the wheels and all the, the rods and everything there hooked up and functional. Uh, so really excited overall about this locomotive coming together really nicely. And, uh, you know, looking forward to, to seeing how the remainder of the model comes together. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so, so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Lots more videos to come in this build series, as well as other locomotives and train builds that we've got planned up, as well as a wide variety of other really interesting videos and Lego builds on the way. Uh, so definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those. And thank you very much for watching. We will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.